So based on the first demonstration of motion twin, which was pretty straightforward, where the object is moving or the ball is moving from top to bottom, okay? Now, I can change so many positions of this object uh, just without even changing anything in the frame sets. For example, if I have this animation is for one second, you can simply move your cursor at the end of the last frame. And do you see the change in cursor? It gives you two arrow, an arrow backward and forward. So you simply click and hold on it. And if I can drag it, I can extend the number of frames we are using for the animation. By default, it just gives you one second worth of frames. But if you can hold on to the last frame, you can literally drag it and have as many frames you want for your animation just like that. Okay? And then I can simply move my playhead at any position and I can change the position of my object. So for example, number one, I'm going to drag and change the object's position, but I'm not holding on to the center point. Some of you are literally holding on to the center point. Don't do that. That's a pivot point for circulations. You should hold on to any of the other solid area of your shape. So anywhere on the solid shape, you simply hold, keep the object there, and you can see the snap guideline is there as well with a dotted line. It will exactly align your shapes like that. So I can keep it there. That's my first frame because my playhead is in number one. I can move to number 15 or number 20. I can drag my object to the left hand side. Do you see the guide is changing now, which is a green guide. Then I can go to number 40, move the playhead, and I can keep the object at the bottom. Then I can go to 70, and I can change its position to the right corner. If you want, you can add it more. And it slightly drags your frame sets, but you can control click on the points and you can move back your frames in the correct position. So I'm gonna, because I dragged, it changes the span of the keyframes. So you can control click on the keyframe, move it back to 40. Then I can go to 40, 60. I want the object to be there. Then I want to 80. Keep the object back to where it belongs to. Okay. There you go. I just don't need those extra frames. I can select. You can drag your cursor from end to the last frame you want to delete. You can right click on the selection and you can use remove frames okay so flash will remove unwanted frames from the timeline but if i test it now that's how the object's positions are changing okay all i've done is have the span of number of frames i want and then by moving the playhead you just change the position of your object the way we change the position and the number of keyframes in the timeline you can actually move your cursor on the guideline do you see that now, when you get that little curve, means you can bend this guide in a round shape, either upwards or downwards. So I can simply hover your cursor on the guide, and I can change it to the curve path, like that. I can go there, change it to the curved path, like this. And now if we want to play it, your object will go like that, in a circular motion. When I test it, you don't see obviously the guides in a final movie, but when I test it, that's how the projection is now, because I've changed the guide. Makes it easy to understand? So, let me leave this file for a while. I'm going to quickly show you the demonstration of how to create the step ladder animation. So, let's say I have a simple line tool from my toolbar. I'm going to simply draw the lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back and just join at the top. A simple ladder. 
or staircase you can say using the paint bucket tool I'm going to change my paint buckets color and I got some simple steps okay you can rename the layer as steps or something lock it I'm going to add a new layer above it which I'm going to rename it as a ball and for this layer using the oval tool I'm going to add a simple ball there okay now this is the background of my steps layer and the ball layer is above the steps layer it's a shape I'm gonna simply use the same techniques of motion twin now and we'll make this ball look like as if it is falling down the stairs so all this motion guide and changing the path this is the technique we are going to use so this is an example for that selection tool I'm double clicking on the shape right click and create a motion twin it asked me to convert symbol just say okay now by default you can see I've got 60 frame worth of animation okay let's say I want that many frames to see my steps till the end what will you do you insert a frame so I go to that layer on that particular steps layer then you simply right click and insert frame because we are not moving the steps anywhere we're just gonna keep them static as it is so just extend the preview of those frames now frame number 60 on your top layer which is the animation layer number one the position of the ball is at the top of the ladder okay number 60 keep your playhead at 60 select your object on the stage keep it at the bottom somewhere you can even keep outside the stage okay means the final position no one's gonna see it in the final stage okay so I'm gonna keep like that but now the trick is we have to keep our playhead move it backwards find out your placements let's say at this position when my object is here I want that ball should touch this ladder so arrange your playhead accordingly within the timeline then hold on your object and make it touch the step like that okay once you do that the span between the first and the second position you can move your cursor between the guide when you get the curve simply drag your guide and keep it like that so what will happen is if I'll move my playhead to number one this is how the ball will fall you see that that's a trick again move playhead forward if you want the ball should touch steps here keep your playhead at the position drag the ball to the steps and simply change the guide same technique going forwards change the position of the ball and change the guides then last keep the object at the last keyframe hold on to your guide and adjust the guides so this is creating the guide by using the keyframes position but when you test it you'll obviously not see the guides now that's because my FPS is 60 that's why it's running too fast but if I can go back to my properties panel I can edit my FPS to 32 test movie there you go a simple ball animation falling the stairs save your file test your movie so you have SWF and your animation is up and ready let me stop recording